Finding lowest terms for fractions can be a complicated operation, but with the Wonder Number Board's use of color-coded factors for each number, it's significantly easier for kids to figure out because all they have to do is find the greatest common factor of the numerator and the denominator in each block. Using the Wonder Number Board, we can simplify fractions. We're going to take a couple of examples of fractions and see if we can simplify them on the board. The first fraction we're going to try is 18 over 23. If you take a viewer, you highlight 18 as the numerator, and you highlight 23 as the denominator, and the first thing you have to do to simplify is to see if there are common factors in each number. There are no common factors in 18 and 23, so what happens now is the number 18 over 23 is already simplified, so there is no change. The next fraction that we're going to simplify in the one to number board is 16 over 19. We put a highlighter on 16 and a highlighter on 19, and we look in each box to see if there's a common factor. 16 does, and 19 have no common factors, mainly because 19 is a prime already, so there are no common factors. So 16 over 19 is already simplified. The next number we're going to simplify using the one to number board is 10 over 15. If you put a, a viewer on 10, and a viewer on 15, the first thing you have to do is search for a common factor. We have a common factor in both numbers, which is 5. And inside the 10 box, 5 is a factor. So 10 divided by 5 is 2. And in 15, 15 divided by 5 is 3. So our fraction is reduced to 2 thirds. This time we're going to simplify 42 over 48. We have 42 highlighted by that viewer, and we have 48 highlighted by that viewer. Now when you simplify fractions on the one the number board, it's important to simplify by the greatest common factor. But sometimes students don't find the greatest common factor, so we'll just reduce it by a common factor, which we can see is 2. 2 is a factor of 42, and 2 is a factor of 48. But what happens when you reduce that, we're going to have another solution. 42 divided by 2 is 21. We're going to move this to 21. And 48 divided by 2 is 24. And that should be our simplified fraction. But we look in the boxes, there is another common factor, which is 3. So what happens is you can reduce the fraction one time, and then you can look in the box, and if you have to reduce again, you can. So this time, we see a common factor of 3, which is 3 divides into 21 7 times, and 3 divides into 24 8 times, so now our final answer is 7 over 8.